Ziggity Zig back with more Tales from the Ladder in this week of Tales from the Ladder Weeks because I'm not doing the uh, talking his way out of the uh, talking his way up the ladder because it's August and it's vacation day and today is oh god where am I now I don't really know where I am today I'm actually home with uh, my kid because they're on vacation but this is going to be the grudge match part of the pub league special between that guy Griff and UCMOP and UCMOP going for a Zerg play here which is hugely exciting. That was a whole bunch of BM coming out of UCMOP. Uh, fake BM. I'm not going to say it's actual BM because, you know, UCMOP is a fairly, you know, uh, relaxed guy. It, it seems his thing is pretending that he's got a lot more, oh, I suppose what the kids are calling it these days, tood than, uh, than you would think. Go for the Extractor Trick, I think, is what's going to happen here. Yes, and it's Extractor Trick. Double Extractor Trick from UCMOP. That was ridiculously impressive. Pretty sweet maneuvers going on there, but it looks like both UCMOP and uh, that guy Griff are going to successfully scout each other. No one... Uh, the two scouts don't actually meet. Here is the slow-moving Overlord on its way over to the top right. Uh, base, and Griff does get his 12 gateway on the way at the same time as UCMOP does notice that, so he sees it. It's not going to be a forge, so he doesn't have to worry about a cannon rush just yet. Griff does see this, and he's going to check down here and just make sure that he keeps an eye on it. There's no fast expand. Okay. Did not check for... Th uh, check around the base for the spawning pool, so doesn't really know what the timing is there. However, probably going to stick stick to the outskirts, not very vis not visible at all from UCMOP's perspective, so what Griff's gonna do is just kind of wait, probably plop down another pylon when he's, yeah, he's at 16, so he's about ready for another pylon now. He's just trying to figure out when he's gonna throw it down. No drone coming over here to, here to check out this, this probe. This probe is definitely gonna be a little bit dangerous. This Overlord is still on its way, just wandering about, doing its own thing. But what Griff's gonna do right now is there. Okay, so he's getting a bunch of getting the additional pylon and cybernetic core just there in his base. So this guy's just hanging out for insurance, just seeing what could possibly happen were he to remain undetected. We're going for single gas at the moment, and I think we're going to see... No, we're not quite into... No, we don't have near enough gas for the mothership core just yet as a defensive measure, but it's probably... Uh, I usually look at something like a, a one gate expand, but it is going to be a gate cyber core, keeping this... Car is pretty close to his hand, and his building's close to his main nexus there. This, oh, this guy, I'm really just waiting for something exciting to happen here. Warp Gate is on the way. The Zealot, first Zealot is almost finished, so there we go. Just a little bit of defense on the way just there. The Queen is ready, so it was a fast uh, spawning pool to make sure that the Queen could be out in time. There we go, we're going to see an inject almost right away. Oh yeah, jeez, he's right on top of that. So, Yusumupi doing a very good job playing, uh, playing the Zerg card here. It's sort of... Our off races are actually getting quite quite good, but if you take any of the three of us, between UCMOP OP, and that guy Griff and I, if anyone is quite solid at all three races, it definitely would probably be uh, UCMOP, because he, he actually played as Terran in ladder, well, no, not in ladder, but as 2v2 for quite some time, so back here at the main base, still no expansion just there from UCMOP, but this Overlord is probably going to eventually notice this little hidden probe and there it is but he's gonna have to show it up I don't think UCMOP is actually looking at this and he's not gonna see that's a very small dot that you spy on your map there so he's still just trying to get additional units out he's gonna start working on army pretty soon once the roaches come up so it's gonna be a one base roach Griff working on a gateway kind you know mostly expand there's the nexus up it's about 50% done Another zealot on the way, so saving up the gas for not even sure what, and still not quite seeing anything in the way of... Oh, it's a little bit of supply block going on just there, but not the mothership core just in the way yet. Mm, there is next the evolution chamber. Uh, is going to want... He's going to want... He's going to want to probably move up to lair pretty soon. Still just wandering around, having pretty good map... Um, not really awareness, but just definitely a little bit of map. I wouldn't call it control, but okay, yeah, we will go back to awareness. I don't know what I'm saying here. So there's uh, the uh, second nexus is up, so Griff's uh, macro and income will start really happening, but this one base roach, this one base roach is probably going to decimate things, because if you look at the units, it's got, well, it does have the, the mothership core is there now. 
So these roaches moving pretty slow. There's uh, missile attacks. It's not. It might be done by the time they get here. But we still only have just a couple of units here. Just these two zealots. So the army supply is heavy in UCMOP's favor. Uh, that guy Griff getting the patrol back and forth between the two bases, uh, ready for some more warp gates to start warping in some units. Definitely has quite a lot of uh, materials to be through here, and this is when Griff now notices that things are in a little bit of trouble. There's a force field, but he can't force field the entire ramp, so these these roaches can attack this. Nothing there from the mothership core, probably. Yeah, only has enough for one. Just the one uh, photon overcharge, so if these roaches, if UCMOP moves these roaches and gets them up around the outside of the base, then uh, that Griff is going to be in much better position there, making some yet more roaches. Not quite coming across. Oh, yep, they are. So he did have a few reinf reinforcements coming across the map. There's two more on their way. But just as soon as his income really starts to kick in for that guy, Griff, he's going to be able to get just a number more units. There's four or five gates now on the way. Not really too much tech in behind this, but that he really won't need all that much once he's, once he's got with the Mothership core up here in the air. And this, wow, the Photon Overcharge is still on. Uh, it's going to be a while before that's going to be able to get another Photon Overcharge, and so actually, that oh, UCMOP seems to have really timed that pretty well. And this Roach, Roach Burst right here, he's going to do quite well, but the real problem is just getting through here, those nice force fields there just to funnel the army through, but now, oh. So UCMOP is just going to line everybody up, take out the offensive, the offensive units, but I don't think Griff is going to have much to combat this. Yes, he is going to do quite a lot of damage, and UCMOP cannot fire anything at this mothership core, but these roaches are definitely doing a large amount of destruction here. He's making just a number more. It's still streaming in. D does move up to the second base, but not really much in the way of macros. They are worker supplies. Definitely favoring that guy, Griff. He does move uh, all of his... All of his units up here could really benefit from having the Mothership Core up here on the top. Definitely want to start taking advantage more, and uh, Chrono boosting these so that you can get the additional units up there, but just really not make any of the... Oh, really hoping for the Photon Overcharge here, but I don't think it's going to happen quite in time for the... Oh, quite in time. Two more, three more, and... Wait, is he going to hit it? gonna hit it because that one's gonna fall so no chooses to use the energy for when the roaches do come up the stairs is trying to use this as a fail safe the final frontier up but that's a whole lot of damn roaches and griff i think only has just oh one maybe two force fields left does capture there's four of them up here on the top and those roaches are gonna die pretty quick but still there's a very large army down here and this is a lot of resources and things that griff has put into thick put into all of these buildings, and so just that loss is definitely going to be way too overwhelming. Despite the fact that Griff has a whole lot of gas right now, I think he would have wanted to pull everything out of the gas because of the amount of gas and put them all into minerals, and he might be able to boost a few things there, maybe get a forge up at the same time, put a number of cannons up here on the top, perhaps boost in a Stargate in behind us, but right now he's just trying to get in a number more gateways just to get, just to get these basic gateway units Probably hit up against this with uh, just Zealot Sentry, I think is how you want to do this. Zealot Sentry with some Guardian Shield just getting up there. Griff managing to get a cannon there on the front of it, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's too little, too late. Probably wanted to kite these back a little bit closer to this Photon Overcharge. They are going to survive. Griff probably could have held on, held out there for another five, five or six minutes, but at this point, the income is definitely in has now swayed. You saw where this went is in UCMOP's favor. So that, that was quite impressive. Griff just, yep, up to the 53 EPM trying to take care of that and was not able to. So game one of this series that was played quite a long time ago. You can find out how it actually ended if you talk to the guys, but game one does go to UCMOP. We'll continue on with this series. This will be the series for, well, as long as it goes on. Mm. So what you can do, if you're bored of watching this series, you can leave me a comment down below, send me an email, ziggityzigg.gmail.com, you can follow me on Twitter, at ziggityzig, you can send me an interesting replay for more Tales from the Ladder! I went up even higher that time. Stay tuned!